Hello and welcome to the Dave Trumbo Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined by Stevenson Head Beach Volleyball Coach Dave Trumbo. Coach, I may not look it outside right now, but um, you guys just got back from spring break. Um, had a pretty successful trip overall. Just kind of talk about um, how the trip went for you guys. Well, Greg, it was wonderful. I mean, we had great weather and the girls had a lot of fun. Uh, we started off the week, uh, we flew into Tampa and drove down to uh, Miami and played St. Thomas and Florida National and were able to win two matches. And it was kind of warm-up matches. Yeah. Uh, when I schedule those matches, I'm not sure how much we're going to be on our sand, but we had, had 12 or 13 practices, so we are in good shape. And then we drove up to uh, Orlando <clears throat> and played Eckert and uh, Tampa. Yep. And um, lost both matches three to two, yep. but we'd never taken two two sets or two matches from mm -hmm. Eckert in Tampa. Uh, very athletic, very strong indoor team. So uh, three to two wasn't too bad. Yeah. And then then the next time we played, we played Weber International and Warner. We had yeah. been able to beat Warner in the past. This year, Warner went all five matches went three. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable! Yeah. We won all five yeah. in three, so we won five nothing, but it was a lot closer yeah. than than what the score indicated. And then we turned around and played Weber, who had never even taken a, a match from them before, and we were able to beat them three two. So that was one of the highlights of our trip, beating Weber, uh, a team that had beaten us five to nothing in the past, and they were the small co defending small college national champions. Yeah. So that said a lot. Um, then we moved on to Saturday and played Florida Southern, and that was a really close 3-2 loss. Yeah. We, um, at the ones, Annika Swartz and uh, Jan Christensen lost 21-19, 21-19. Uh, but we were able to win on the, <clears throat> at the threes and fours that day. Yeah. Uh, so that was a real close 3-2 loss and turned around and played St. Leo's. Super exciting match. Uh, and we were able to win at threes and and ones and then we were playing the twos match for the match yeah. we had lost to the fours and fives we had won at the ones and threes so it was two two final set between uh, lauren wheat with lauren lever and uh katie leffridge yeah. and uh the crowd is all circled around the court yeah. and, <laughs> oh, yeah. and uh katie and lauren came through and won 15 8 which gave us our fifth win yeah and so we we're five and three the three matches we lost were all three to two, so uh, we're all encouraged and yeah. uh, really feel like we're doing the right things. Yeah, certainly sounds like a lot of exciting matches, and certainly things break your way. You know, you might have been six and two, seven and one. The flip side of that is break the wrong way. Right, you could have exactly. been two, or, you know, two and six, three and five, something like that. Yes. But um, you know, obviously, it builds it builds your experience being in those three set matches, being those matches that come down the wire as you go on. And obviously you have the national small college championships in a couple of weeks that you're getting ready for. Yeah. We uh, are our, our number threes, Darian Hillman and Jesse Freeman were eight. No. Yeah. Uh, and they had, they went three sets at least three or four times. Yeah. Uh, our ones went five and three, our twos, uh, went five and three. I mentioned them, our ones, Annika and Jang, and our twos, Katie and Lauren. And our fours, uh, Julie Nightwine and Victoria Prokick, went five and three. Yeah. And really a big one against Weber was uh, at our five, Sarah Riggin and Katie McGuire. They went three and five, but they won a couple of matches, went three. And so that was a big one against Weber to get to come into um, the ones, twos, and threes already having two wins. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so overall, sounds like a successful trip. Now you've got a couple of weeks off. Um, you know, hopefully by next week we will get back outside and, uh, like I said, start getting ready, head back to Florida for the small college championships, which I know is always exciting. Well, they, you know, we got conditioning with MC. Yeah. <laughs> They'd rather be out on the <laughs> sand. So they'd rather, probably rather be on the uh, on the sand. So. Uh, we're snow covered right now, but uh, thankfully this happened after the Florida trip. Yes. I would have been very upset had it been happened before the Florida trip because we wouldn't have gotten much set time on the sand. Yeah. But uh, so we'll be okay. I think we'll, I think by next Monday we'll be out there. We'll have two solid weeks to get ready and challenge. And some of those ones, twos, threes, fours, and fives may change a little bit as we challenge yep. each other before we go down to uh, Florida for the small college national championship all right coach well um enjoy the quote-unquote little bit of a break you've got until the next obviously a conditioning practice mm -hmm. but um you know enjoy getting ready for that we'll talk to you next week all right thanks greg all right for coach dave trumbo i'm greg royce this has been the dave trumbo show